Okay, another cool thing that the 435 will do is um, it'll calculate your delta for you. Now, calculating the delta depends on what you have on the screen at the time. So, back at the main screen, uh, what we're going to do first of all is get out of Duck Profile. So, we go to Deep Menu, Profile. Whoops, okay. And we're going to go back to Standard. Then we escape. Now we have uh, 1 and 2 or 1 and 1 up here and what we want to do is get to let's say we want to measure uh, the delta of the coil, the return air and uh, the supply air, the dry bulb. So what we do is we go to 1 is our return air so we're going to go to Fahrenheit probe 1 Fahrenheit and we're going to do the same thing on probe 2 Fahrenheit. Now, notice the the up soft key toggles the upper line, and the down soft key toggles the lower line. So uh, these are the two values I want the delta T of the dry bulb. Okay. So what I do is I hit the button, the menu button, and I go to calculate. Hit OK, and there's all kinds of dew points, enthalpy, alpha psych and delta now all of the other ones need to be on all the time uh, delta is the only uh, user selectable uh, field that isn't used uh, in the rest of the the calculations so if we go through dew point enthalpy these are all used to calculate BTUs and and all that stuff so you want those turned on all the time and then we go to delta. So delta is strictly 1 minus 2. So probe 1 minus probe 2 equals what's going to show on the screen. So we hit OK. And it shows up here that we're in the delta mode. And it's R1 minus R2. And here's the value. Um, you can hold it. You can save it from here. Um, but let's say you're out at the condenser and you're charging a system. Uh, you want to know what the delta T is you have your probes plugged in you can look at it here now if you want to do wet bulb for example we go back to the main screen and we get the the wet bulb reading which is psych okay so we got psych here and we do the same thing we hit the main menu we go up to calculate we hit ok we go to delta we hit ok and now we're in delta mode it's R1 versus R2 and this is our value right now I have a 14.46789 degree wet bulb split and uh, before y'all freak out and tell me my system ain't working that's by design um, I have a controller in there that uh, modulates the motor speed to remove humidity from the air right now we're outside uh, relative humidity humidity is about 78 percent today and inside the house we're running right at 44 or 45 percent so that's by design that's that's not uh, you know normal operating normally you would see a nine degree you want to see a, an eight and a half to a nine and a half degree wet bulb split but uh, but that's how you look at the the 435 will show you delta on a system uh, real quick real easy you just your probes are already there anyway uh, one of the things that I wish the 435 did that it doesn't, but it may in its future incarnations, is actually calculate target superheat for us. Um, I've talked to Jim about that a little bit, and he seems to think that, that maybe that's something that will be coming down the pipe, as well as some other interesting things that the 435 will do. But for now, one of the handy things on the 435 is this. You don't have to keep running into the house up into the attic, take another reading, run back downstairs, check and see what's going on. Um, and the wet bulb uh, delta T is something that my guys record on every PM and every service call and uh, it's, it's very important to uh, the health of the system as to, as to what the wet bulb is doing across the coil. You know, the dry bulb can, can change significantly but the, but the wet bulb needs to be what it is and this is one way to take it and, and you know, only have to go into the attic one time. Um, I know there's some other, like the MFM 300, will also do a wet bulb delta T. Um, uses two probes. It's not wireless, obviously, but 
uh, if you plug the probes in and you go up there and you take the reading it's 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 pretty painless so um, you know there's a lot of options that are out there right now as far as instrumentation but as far as wireless instrumentation and accuracy and and the stuff working I mean you just can't beat the Testo stuff the printer and all the wireless handles work with the 523 the 556 the 560 um, as well as the 435 so you know you only have to buy one printer not one for each instrument 